Psalm 86 verses 5 to 6, 9 to 10, and 15 to 16. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my pleading. Lord, you are good and forgiving. All the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous deeds. You alone are God. Lord, you are good and forgiving. You, O Lord, are a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in kindness and fidelity. Turn toward me, and have pity on me, give your strength to your servant. Lord, you are good and forgiving. Psalm 86 begins with a prayer and a complaint, Incline your ear, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and oppressed. Prayer is an expression of humility, when you pray you are acknowledging superiority and acknowledging, as in this case, you cannot resolve a problem on your own. In verse 5 there is a promise, You, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. The promise is that whoever sings this psalm from the heart is assured of God's attention. Verse 10, For you are great, and you do wondrous deeds, you alone are God is an act of faith that there is only one God and he does all he can to help them. This psalm is telling us of David's trust and his spiritual view of God. He is convinced that God will help him because God willingly listens to David's prayer. In so doing he can substitute his fear of anger of enemies for his trust in the Lord. Why should we be humble? From the Gospel of Matthew chapter 18 verse 4 whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Why should we model David's faithfulness? From the Gospel of John chapter 5, verse 24, Amen, Amen, to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation but has passed from death to life. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 7, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Be not not wise in your own eyes, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. The more I study science the more I believe in God. Albert Einstein